I want to sit and hang out at the beach and drink. That gets empty really fast. And there's so much narcissism right now that people are in sort of denial that they're going to age. What's up, guys? Aldo here with PragerU. Today in studio, we have Dr. Drew. Really good to have you here. So there's this viral trend that's been going on recently on social media, TikTok, Instagram, of these 31-year-old, you know, late 20s, early 30s, women, celebrities, really, you know, decrying and uh, talking bad about marriage mm. um, and really steering the younger generation away from marriage, uh, talking about the benefits of divorce, all of these things. Mm. Um, first, before I show you one of these viral TikToks, I want to ask you about your marriage mm. and what it's been like for you. I can't imagine living without her. Marriage has been a huge uh, benefit to my life and a joy. I actually was a little bit of a marriage skeptic when I got married. I was delaying it as long as I could. I kind of had this, my parents were married forever, but didn't have a great marriage. And so I always imagined that you sort of lived your life, got married, and then you died. That was sort of how I saw things. And I'll never forget being at the altar going, oh my goodness, this is exactly, this is, this is, an important thing to, to get up in front of God and everybody and declare your love and commitment to another person. It changes things. It was a profoundly, it was a profound experience and it was life altering. And to not live up to that commitment is a bizarre idea to me. You know, we went through a lot and we have made it and we are more in love and enjoy each other more today, probably than 20 years ago. Let's take a look at one of these viral TikToks and we'll get your reaction. Okay. So what do we think? Well, that's going at whether you should have kids, really what that is. And maybe not everybody, but uh, again, that's another thing we gloss over as some sort of magical solution to everything. Kids are work, man. And you, and it, but I'll tell you the one thing that all of this always gives you is is meaning. It's meaning making at its core. What's life all about? It's easy when you have a family and kids. You're getting that generation effectively into the next into the next one. People could argue that that's empty. I say it's profoundly meaningful. Yeah, and that's something I talk about in this op-ed that I just released uh, for Fox News. Is that many of the people you hear, you know, talking bad about marriage? What are they really doing with their lives, right? It's not like they're, you know, flying around the world, learning a new skill, you know, backpacking across Europe. Many of these people I see in these TikToks or these videos, what are they doing with their lives when they're for foregoing marriage and having kids? They're watching reality TV, they're drinking, they're sleeping in late on their Saturdays, which again, it's a value call. You can, that that's good and fine, but it's not bringing, I think, the same fulfillment that family and kids will give you. It's really getting, it's a big topic, but getting at what is it that humans need for flourishing existence? What is a flourishing life? And philosophers have argued about this forever. And I sort of hearken back to Aristotle, who essentially said that um, in, in all the myths, and wherever you look for, you know, meaning-making discussions of the human existence, you will, you know, if Aristotle said eudaimonia, which has tr been translated as happiness, but it's really flourishing. And, you know, what is, what is a flourishing ex existence other than making meaning, being of, being of use to other humans, being of use to the world? Now, if, you, if this person wants to go help other people and they don't feel they can bring another person in tow for that or certainly bring other people into the world and get all they want to get done i get that yeah but if it's hey it's because it's me i want to sit and hang out at the beach and drink that gets empty really fast and there's so much narcissism right now that people are in sort of denial that they're going to age and when you're aged you're older and you haven't built meaning you've been working on having skills that you can contribute something or building a family that you have you know you have uh, feel like you've created something it, it is an empty experience. Uh, then what are you looking yeah. for? Really, what are we talking about here? Just for fun? Just for Yahoo? This is what people confuse in this culture. Happiness with flourishing, right? right. They, there's sort of hedonic happiness, which is what you get when you drink and hang out at the beach. And there is eudaimonic happiness, which is fulfillment, flourishing. And believe me, anybody that's experienced both knows, can tell you the difference. Hedonic happiness, you go from one high to the next. No one happier than my heroin addicts when they get their first hit in the day. They are happy. Yeah. Hedonic happy. Miserable. Horrible life. Eudaimonic happiness requires me. Listen, no more hedonic happiness. Right. Go read my op-ed on Fox. There you go. Now, 
Dr. Drew, thanks so much. Yes.